Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to read JSON data which we receive as a string in Oracle integration. In reading JSON data received as string, there are two steps. First, we have to write the string to staging directory as a binary content that is by using stage action. And step number two is we have to read the data which was written in point number one using again the read stage action by using sample JSON as a reference. To highlight, this is one of the methods which could be used to read JSON data which is received as a string to OIC but there could be other approaches as well wherein we can use OIC mapper to do the same. I have already built an integration wherein I have exposed this integration over REST protocol. This REST service is accepting this XML data wherein there is one in attribute in the input which receives JSON data as string. As you see I have provided this XML sample over here while configuring this REST endpoint. I am closing this. As I told, our first step is we have to write this string to a staging directory as a binary content. In this stage, we have to select this write file operation, file name something you can give and the staging directory. Here the XML schema what I have used is a opaque element. This is readily available uh, in Oracle documentation. If you don't know what opaque schema is then here is the opaque schema xsd file wherein this schema is having one element that is opaque element of type base64. So what we have to do is in the mapper as we get input in this attribute 01 in the XML input we have to map this to our opaque element that is by converting it to base64. So base64 function is available in advanced functions in this that is encode base64. This function I have used to convert this string while writing to a staging directory. So this will convert the string to base64 and write to our staging directory okay, with the help of this schema. And the step number two after writing is we have to read the data using against the stage read action using sample JSON. As I am passing this as a string in the input, I am using the same JSON file for reading the data what was written in write file action. I am closing this. Let me show you how I configured this stage read action. Here we have to select this read entire file and we can pass the reference of the write file operation over here. The file name read JSON file, I have given the same thing what uh, I am passing in an input as a string. So this we can upload. If you know the JSON sample, then we can upload uh, it over here so that uh, we can make use of the stage action and read the data. Now I will activate this integration and create an instance. I am here in the testing page for this integration. As I showed you, I have exposed this int integration to receive the input of some, something like this, wherein uh, attribute 01 contains JSON data. I have passed the JSON data as a string within this uh, element that is attribute 01. Now let me click on this test. I have submitted. Let me go to the tracking. Click on the message and see, verify. Yeah, I have received this as a string uh, in my attribute 01. Uh, let me go to this payload sent to staging. Let me check whether it has converted to uh, base64. Yeah, it has converted my string to base64 and uh, written the file to a staging directory. Let me expand this and check what we have re read this. Okay, while reading, uh, we have read the JSON data properly. Like what I have passed in the input is. Uh, uh, ID 5001 and type as none uh, while reading uh, we, we have received ID and type properly. Similar approach we can use while designing the integration wherein there is a requirement to read the JSON data which, which is received as a string. 